Welcome to today's exclusive on TJ Studios. All right, on the AFCON Diaries, I said it. The team had it right, all right? Okay, in the sports segment, all right? The team had it right. And I said, anytime Nigeria goes through Ivory Coast in any AFCON tournament, they are forced to reckon with. Welcome to today's exclusive on TJ Studios. All right, on the AFCON Diaries, I said it. The team had it right, all right? Okay, in the sports segment, all right? The team had it right. And I said, anytime Nigeria goes through Ivory Coast in any AFCON tournament, they are forced to reckon with. And trust me, it has happened. It has happened with the first goal coming from Ademola Lukman set up by, you know, Victor Osimen with assist. And then the second goal also happening in the dying embers of the game, it has come, all right, to outline the fact that Nigeria is a force to reckon with in this AFCON. And we said it. We gave two parameters and preambles, and we said that Ghana has a history, but it's quite tiny because we don't have that team to back that history, all right? Coming into this tournament, Ghana was not, you know, a force to reckon with. Same as Nigeria, but Nigeria were not bad. They were not bad as a team. They, they just lacked, you know, certain elements. And we saw it in a build-up to the AFCON. We saw that Nigerians' preparation and everything has added up and a surprise can happen. And then there was another school of thought that came on board with people saying that well, the Nigerian team is not playing well. And I said, they have a team, they have play, they have players, let me put it in that regard. They have players, all right? It is up to the coach to find a system that will fine-tune them together. And you don't need to play all rosy in a tournament to win the cup. I said it here, okay? And I referred, or I reminisced you all, to the 2010, you know, edition where Ghana had a depleted team but I saw, or we saw the under 20 squad that were promoted into the Ghana team standing up and holding up the fort for the Ghanaian team. They had, you know, players such as Samwejan, Kojo Asamoah, who were a bit senior most in that team, and then fusion with the Ayu, who was just coming from a 209 to under 20 World Cup win. All right. Okay. All right. I said that. Nigerians can have such a niche. And trust me, they are very disciplined at the back line, you know, much focused in the middle, and then they move as a team when they are attacking. I saw this. And then the team also gave an analysis that in every or most of the Afghan tournaments, the moment Nigeria goes through Ivory Coast, they become a force to reckon with. Now, this is the question of the day. With this win today, do you see Nigeria, all right, Heading on to the semi-final, to the final. And then do you see them contending for this year's AFCON? All right. They may not be playing all rosy, but such teams in a tournament who are disciplined in their back line, concede less goals and scores you and do not give you the advantage or the chance to also score. Well, they are forced to reckon with. We all knew coming into this game, this Cameroonian team were leaking goals behind. They were not us you know, good as the previous Cameroon teams, all right? So we know and we knew they were going to lead goals. Their only strength, all right, in their previous matches were when they were crossing in balls and heading it. So any good tactic tactician, let me put it in that way, who could stop them from, you know, penetrating the flanks of any team and crossing balls can be a force to reckon with. And it has happened. Omar Niger, I salute you all. I don't know where you are watching me from. But if you've been following, you know, activities on this channel in line with our podcast, the sports team said it, that there is a history that can be behind Nigeria. And indeed, it has worked. Let's listen to the Niger anthem once again. <laughs>
That's a big win for Nigeria. Shout out to Nigeria. All right, if you're a Nigerian, be proud of yourself. And I would want someone to devote his time to teach me the, you know, the words of the Nigerian anthem. I'll be glad to learn it. All right. I'll be glad to learn it. Okay. All right. So, guys, this has been it. Congratulations in high eye order to the Nigerian Super Eagles team for winning today's match against the Cameroon or the Cameroonians. And I know Nigeria is going to go a long way or a long path in this tournament if they stay disciplined, calm, composed, and do the needful. All right. Shout outs to every Nigerian. And I know you are happy. All right. Okay. This has been it on the Afcon Diaries. And I, uh, I have to sign out of here. Yeah, all right. Expect my reaction video. I have a video where I'm going to react to. I'm calling it, or I call it the video dissect on the Niger Caucus. Expect it soon. My name has always been TJY. I salute and peace out. Yeah, I think he's going to play the 5-3-2. The, the